protesting um, police. It's a great story. It's yeah. a trouble because what he supported the protesters. A fantastic story. I mean, uh, first of all, the, the, the issue of fracking is really huge at the moment in this country because we're about to start fracking again. Now, fracking, um, the pro-frackers will tell you, oh, we've been doing it for 50 years. There's a specific kind of fracking that's like the turbocharged version of fracking. It's only been done once in this country in 2011, and it created two earthquakes straight away. So there was an instant moratorium, didn't last for long enough, quite clearly. And they're drilling back in exactly the same place, right? And New Preston Road, it's up near Blackpool. Amazingly, uh, we, 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 our government have been very happy to kind of run roughshod over the, 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 the wishes of the people who live there. Um, they were 98% against fracking there. Sajid David immediately came out and said, no, nope, we're going to go and do it anyway. They changed the laws so that they could do it. And there's a huge amount of money being spent on policing because, of course, lots of people who live there who actually look at into fracking and see what it's very likely to do in the long-term effects. It's incredibly dangerous. They go, well, we just don't want that. So they're putting themselves in front of the trucks. They're doing all these kinds of things. This is not froth mouth crusties. These are grannies mm -hmm. who really care about their children, okay? And uh, the whole situation has been really disastrous. And the police have had to kind of represent Quadrilla, which is the drilling company, and try and move the protesters out of the way. And at times, things have become very rough when they tried doing this in Barton Moss in Manchester. Um, the report on the policing there was really, really terrible. In fact, one of my own friends had his eye socket smashed by a boot. But this story is extraordinary. What's happened uh, only recently is that one of the um, leading, the former police inspector, who's now become a crime commissioner, um, he is an anti-fracking uh, demonstrator himself. And um, he had actually been demonstrating in North Wales. He was part of North Wales against fracking. He helped the government in Wales to actually um, have a moratorium on fracking, which is very wise. I wish our government would do that. Um, and so he said, no, I'm going to pull the police back. Um, and really, Quadrilla should be paying for the policing it anyway. Okay? Um, but it's an extraordinary thing. There's just this moment, because most people have been to think, the police are just working for Quadrilla. But in this case, no, because this police officer has clearly looked at the science. Mm. It's incredibly dangerous. I don't see why I should be using my officers to let this company get away with doing something that's potentially incredibly dangerous. You should qualify with that, you know, he's been a bit accused of abusing his position by not sending police officers to, to meet the protesters there. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's, it's an issue that we're reporting on at the moment, actually, and in the last couple of days, it's something that we're going to keep an eye on, the, the protests up there, because there are a lot of accusations flying around. Your coverage of it was fantastic. For, for the people who are fighting fracking, that was the first time we actually, I don't know if you saw it, but yeah. your reporter on, on, the, on the ground, the police came and grabbed, uh, you know, a kind of a tube off him at the time. He didn't understand what was going on. It's, um, it's a really serious issue. It's on Friday, hundreds of people, thousands of people are going to come from around the country to New Preston Road to demonstrate against this. And I recommend people do consider it's your legal rights protest. Go there on Friday. Okay, follow Reclaim the Power. Well, They'll tell you what to do. And if you, want, if you want to find out a bit more about it, Mike McCarthy's report from yesterday, I think, is, st is still online. Um, Michelle, very quickly, um, great story.